What's going on? Max Avoca here from Awesomeo.com, bringing you the AFC and NFC Championship game weekend top three plays on prize picks. And, you know, say what you want about the overtime rules. We'll talk about that next year. And we've got two ex excellent games to play here. Cincinnati and the Kansas City Chiefs are first up in the afternoon. And then it is a NFC West rubber match with the Los Angeles Rams hosting the San Francisco 49ers. And as I mentioned up top, we are brought to you, of course, by Prize Picks, which is offering daily prop based contest and there are so many different ways to play and one of the best parts about prize picks there's no sharks no optimizers or mass entries and you can get five player lineups where you can get 10x your entry fee so all those big cash winnings you're used to on other dfs platforms you can do that at prize picks as well and when you use promo code awesome you can get a hundred dollar first match deposit bonus so make sure you download the app on the google play store on the app store or visit prize picks.com of course you can mix and match sports and when you sign up make sure you use that promo code awesome for up to a 100 first match deposit bonus all right let's get into these top three plays my first play here might surprise some especially if you're coming over from a dfs background this player doesn't look all that appealing on this two game slate but quarterback jimmy garoppolo in my opinion has a passing yards prop on prize picks that is just irrationally low and we need to pounce on it so i'm going over 210.5 passing yards for Garoppolo here. And yes, the Rams are one of the best defenses in the league. But what I'm looking at is they're one of the best offenses with the most explosive plays on offense in the league this year. And they're number two or top two, I should say, in game script adjusted pace of play and in pass rates. So Jimmy Garoppolo and company are going to be forced into a pass heavy game script and he's averaged a modest 200 254 yards passing per game this season so i know the rams are number one in team defensive uh, pff team grades here but they're just league average in schedule adjusted fantasy points allowed they have given up big plays and points before this season and jimmy garoppolo himself had 316 passing yards against this same rams defense in week 18 he's averaged 249 passing yards against this same team this season in two matchup and we have him projected right around there it's nothing crazy we're not super bullish on him but we are well over 200 110 and a half he hits that mark in nearly two-thirds of our simulations my second top play on prize picks we're going to correlate it with that better than expected performance from jimmy garoppolo and we're going to say george kittle over 48.5 receiving yards now he had four catches for 63 yards last week that's great but it was his first game in four weeks where he had had over 30 yards receiving we're seeing some streakiness in his receiving production and one of the main reasons for that is because san francisco is such a rush heavy team in neutral game scripts or especially positive game scripts they are top three in the nfl in our game script adjusted rush rate so even though he's running the most routes on the team that can sometimes amount to 22 23 24 routes per game still if the los angeles offense looks anything like it did against tampa bay george kittle and company will be forced out of that pass or uh, that rush heavy game script that they've been accustomed to and they will be forced to pass and they will be forced to play in a way where we saw George Kittle average 141 receiving yards like he did in a three game span from weeks 13 to 15. You know we have we have huge games on the schedule here for George Kittle where he's absolutely broken the slates so that could absolutely happen here. I think 48.5 is a very modest number. We have him going well over that in our projection. He hits that in 67 percent of our latest simulation. And my final play for prize picks this championship game weekend, Joe Mixon over 55 and a half rushing yards. And you might say, wait a minute, he's been getting it done through the air, at least production wise, this playoffs. And from a rushing standpoint, he's kind of been underwhelming. 
Well, I think this is a situation where we don't have a lot of bell cow running backs on the slate. We just don't know what the rushing opportunity is going to look like in Los Angeles with Kansas City and even in San Francisco where they keep using Debo Samuel. So I'm going to lean on the volume projection for Joe Mixon. And I think that's really what's getting him over the top in our projections here. He's getting way over 55 and a half rushing yards in our median projections here. There is little chance that Cincinnati and Kansas City are going to combine for just a few points here. They are going to be scoring often. And so I do believe that there's going to be opportunities galore for Joe Mixon. And yes, certainly some will come through the air, but I still think you see a minimum of 14 carries like you saw last week. I think 15 to 20 is much, much more likely here. And Kansas City was dead last during the regular season in yards allowed per rush attempt. They improved slightly over the second half of the season, but it didn't change that overall average number. Joe Mixon, if he has a huge game too, that could change the game script drastically because they can keep Patrick Mahomes and that explosive offense off the field. I know it feels risky for a touchdown underdog on the road in a game where they're kind of playing with house money. No one expected Cincinnati to be here, but I think Joe Mixon, over 55 and a half rush yard, a number he hits in two thirds of our simulation is a an interesting contrarian bet to put on your prize picks picks this weekend and there you have it our top three plays for prize picks on sundays three underdogs picked here jimmy garoppolo over 210 0.5 passing yards, George Kittle over 48.5 receiving yards, and Joe Mixon over 55.5 rushing yards here. These are players with projections that are just well ahead of these prop line based expectations. And Price Picks really is one of the best place to places to play these players specifically, especially if you have these different ways you can play as well. If you play three players in a flex play, if you get two of three right, you get 1.25x. And if you get all three, you get 2.25x. And in a power play, you got to get all three right. But if you do, you 5x your money. It's sort of like the difference between a cash game and a GPP play in DFS. I love all the options you have over at Prize Picks, And you can mix and match sports if you've got multi-sport knowledge. When you sign up, use promo code OSMO to get up to a $100 first match deposit bonus. Get started today over at Prize Picks. We will be back for all the Super Bowl Prize Picks picks that you could need next week. Until then, I'm Matt Savoka from OSMO.com. We'll see you guys next time.